Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and it is Sunday, and today we are going to be doing some jelly printing with Jane's uh, plate, new art foaming stamps that I got from uh, River Moon, from KP, and I brought out paints, I brought out some wooden stamps, I can't do it, Joan! So before we get into that, I do have a little book haul I want to show. So if you're watching the recording, welcome. Also, uh, if you're not interested in the book haul, then just fast forward like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. You have your little settings there where you can just push the button and fast forward. All right, so. Hi, Dar. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Jeannie. Fox, everyone. All right, so first I'm going to do some... Um, a little book haul that I got from Joann's. Let me get that here. I've got this. And I have this one. Like this. And one more. And this one. Hi, Elaine. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Tara. All right, so the first one I got was this one from Joanne. So they had a uh, 30% off on their books. So this is a 15 minute artist. So I thought this was a pretty good one. Not too bad. Let's just flip through it really quick. Oh, there it is. Hi, Patty. They did have some of the mink foil, but I only got the green. It was like a mint green and light green. Uh, my Joanne's had clearance. So, hey, CB. So it's a, I think it's a nice, easy little sketch. I'm trying to learn how to sketch a little bit more. So I thought this would be a, a good book. They're not too hard, especially if I love the ribbons. So you can see their skates. So it's not too bad. So this one is the 15 Minute Artist by Catherine V. Holmes. So you can see that there. So that was that one. Then this next one, I... I love seeing Janet. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Evanem. I love seeing uh, Janet do her Zentangles, so I thought I would get this one. It's supposed to be the Great Zentangle book. Um, and this one is by Beatty, Beatty Winkler. So you can see that in Friends. So it's a, quite a few people on this one. So I'm just going to flip through it. If you've been to Janet's stream, she's Monkey Island, Janet Yem Young. And she has, she thinks she did Zentangling a couple weeks ago you do jackie yeah i i like all the like this this looks so cool and i like doing it with the faces i think it looks really cool in their hair so um i figure out while i'm watching tv i could um maybe try to learn a little bit hi lilith so this looks like a pretty good one i have a couple others i wind up giving a couple of them away i think i gave one to janet i think cb's got one they're pretty nice you can always find those at hobby lobby this one I thought was a good one. I saw this on somebody's Instagram. You have a few videos on, on tangling? Oh, really? I'll have to check it out. So that's Jackie in the chat. She's Creations by Sherry. So, oh, I didn't know you did Zentangling. Oh, that'll be cool. I'll have to check. But this is uh, your whole year. So it's actually 52 weeks of um, watercolor. So you can see it's a project for every week of the year. And it's by Kristen Van Lubin. I don't know if I could say that right. L E U V E N. Christian Ram Lupin. So, hi, hey, Glenda. So, um, I'll just go through some of it, not all of it, but so, like, this is week, week six. It's, and they look pretty easy. So, it's not like something that's, you know, you have to work like an hour. I like doing it. You love Zentangling, but you have the patience <laughs> to pull it off. Um, so it just seems like it's nice, easy, like this, nice, easy. I like something where I can do it like in 15 minutes. I don't want to have to do like, you know, the challenges for Inktober. Some of them are like an hour long before you get it done. I want something that's done 10, 15 minutes. So this looks like it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Like look at this, this is cute, isn't it? Oh, look. So this is a little bit more cut, but it's just black and white. So it's not really, really too bad. So. Hi, Deb. Is that you here? Oh, that's good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do some jelly plating with um, her new art foamy stamps. So I'm just going to brush through this real quick so we can get to the jelly plating. This is getting outside, flowers. I've been trying to do a little bit more 
flowers. This one's cool. This one I think Janet would like. Okay, Jeannie. Yeah, it's a cool one, right? And it's um, a project for um, 52 weeks. So, like, this is week 32. So, yeah, and I don't think it's too anything, like, too hard. Now, this, I'd like to learn how to do expressive architect. And this doesn't look too bad, really, squares. I mean, it's just rectangles. So, so it seems like it's easy, and it's got, you know, challenging pieces. I love this, of course. Do this. <laughs> so... So as I thought it was a pretty a nice book. And like I said, it goes all the way. And if you've seen these other books, I think I have this. This is the modern watercolor. I think I might have them. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. And then here's another one, Your Year in Art. So I don't know if you can see that. So those are three other books by, I guess it's by the same artist. I'm not sure. Or the same publication. But hi, Jan. Um, but I think um, even Janet has done a flip through of that one. So that's that. And then one more. Of course, I love anything with ocean. If you follow me, you know I love anything ocean. So this reminds me of that other book. Um, I'm trying to think who has it. I know Jean, the musical scrapper, she showed it. It has like a fox on it, I think. I can't remember. But it's similar to that. Hi, Amalia. So... It's kind of like a work workbook on uh, watercolor. So I'll just go through it really quick. It's pretty thick. It's about an inch and a half. But it's got, um, it gets you the exercise here. And then it gives you the sample here. So if you don't want to draw it, you can just get right into painting. So it's got some all about ocean. Here's a little shrimp. <laughs> it's a pelican. Pirate hat. The goldfish, I like that one. <clears throat> this one's nice, the seashell clamshell. Of course, there's a mermaid. <laughs> and Margaret. Fish, jellyfish, that one's a good one too, I like that. So this would be a, a nice book just to work with. If I don't feel like sketching, I just go right ahead and print it out. <laughs> That's a beluga, cute in it. <laughs> a little seahorse. Well, that would be a cute little, I love that one, the puffer fish. So it's got some cool sea angel. I don't know what that is. Sea angel, never heard of that. Sea angels, otherwise known as sea slugs, are magical looking little creatures. <laughs> and of course, the manta ray. They're cute, cute little images. So. so if you like the ocean, this is a book for you. Like I said, I got all these books at uh, Joann's. They had a, there you can use a coupon, but this week they had 30% off. Look at the sea turtle. That one's cute, isn't it? So, so that is um, Watercolor with Me in the Ocean by Dana Fox. I'm, I'm sure she has another book, but I don't know if they put it back here. I can't remember what the name of it. Jan if Janet was here, she would know. Let's see. No, they don't show it. I'm surprised. Usually they they um, do it. So 50 sketch projects to bring the ocean to life. Hi, hey, Wendy. All right. So I brought out all my paints. I have my sparks. I've got some uh, Martha, some neons. I brought out my wooden. Um, this is one Patty gave me. You can see it's a little mermaid. So let's do that. I brought out all my sea ones out. So it's an octopus. I think it's called that's it in the forest thank you jan that's what it is i love this one these were all not all uh, a lot of these were gifted to me by dorothy i bought this one off of ebay look how cute that one is i love this one i got this one on, on somebody's etsy i can't remember i can't wait to see what that prints out like this was the jellyfish which i love dorothy had given me that you can see uh, i've used it so much the white's coming off and then the little i don't know what it is you. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, all right. And then my last thing to enable you with is if you watch Lindsay, the uh, Fugle, Fugle Crafter, the Fugle, <laughs> what is her name? You know what I mean, Lindsay. <laughs> um, but she had um, showed these, thank you, um, showed these paints. You know, I love Paul Rubin's uh, watercolors, but these are a new one um, and it's got glitter in it, but it's very faint. What I like about it is the colors are really vibrant. I can't remember what these are called. I don't know if they're called 
frugal. Thank you, CCB. Um, but see how bright these are? They're super bright. And I don't know if you could see the glitter. You could definitely see it on the blue. I don't know if that will focus on. It's not going to show probably without it. But it's very fa uh, faint. Like, can, I don't know if you can see it on. Maybe you can see it on this brown one. No, I'll have to put the autofocus. Anyway, I really like them. And um, they have a different palette. So this is like a matte, which is nice. Um, and these things pop out. She shows how they pop out. And then you can um, move your pans around to come in and out. It stays in there like that. Um, but I painted with them the other night. And they're really nice. I like them a lot. The new Paul Rubens. Yeah, I don't know if this is, is it new? Is it brand new? I know she did it. So see how the tin, you can tell it's the new one because it's got this like mountain and valley tin. It's really nice. So I did paint, try to paint this little girl dress. So I don't know if you could see, I'm trying to see if I could get the sparkle show. That's what I'm saying. It's very faint, but I like it because it has a uh, sparkle in it. And I guess you can't really see it. But take my word for it. It's there. But very faint. So if you like glitter, like I do, you would love these. These were really nice. Uh, yeah, you saw Lindsay review them. And she did a couple of nice paintings with them, too. I can't remember what she did. But, um, oops, <laughs> I dropped it. They were really nice. Where's Cassie? You just got here, Kathy. You didn't see my books I previewed. All right, so we're going to use Jane's Jelly Plate. And I thought, when I went to see Patty this week, that um, she had gifted me a couple things. And I asked her to print out um, the stamps of Eileen. I saw them. Good. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we could print these uh, on the Jelly Plate. I'm going to see if I can make my own. So this is my plate and I keep the plastic only on the one side just so I could see through it so we're gonna try that today you're thinking about them oh yeah they're really nice I like them uh, shoot the link in <laughs> 200 characters <laughs> uh. All right, and then I also got, um, let me put these over here. I also got from uh, Gel Press, um, I think Brooke, was it, uh, Recreations by Brooke, was the one who showed, uh, I don't know what I need to do. hold on, I guess this somewhere else for now. There it goes on the floor. It's okay, you don't need any, <laughs> you don't need any more books. So I wind up getting this one. I love this one with the wing. So we're gonna play with that. This one's a nice one too. This, I guess, like a chevron, and it comes with a teardrop. Those are the three. I'm gonna see with teardrop. I got these texture plates plates when I was over at the Queen's Ink. So I thought we would play with those. They're really for UD um, art, um, but I think they'll be good for the jelly plate. All right. So you're really supposed to take these off. So I'm gonna leave the bottom on because I like to see the clear part of it. So, and the difference between these are the gel press, they're thinner than the jelly plate ones. You have the Paul Rubens. I'm thinking about getting the two paints from Paul Rubens. <laughs> but you may want it. All right. So I got that one and... I have this other one. I have this one. I thought this one was so cute. Hey, Linda. It's outside. Hi. I did wind up going to, Linda was enabling me this morning, and she said, go to Vera Bradley. They've got seahorse pocketbooks. Well, they were all sold out. And I wind up getting one with um, an octopus and the seahorse. So I finally found it. The chevron. Yeah, it's pr pretty, right? So this one is butterfly wing. Can you see that? Butterfly wing. So, and this one I'll probably have to take off if I want to do both sides, so we'll see. I have Jane's Mermaid that we'll use. I think I'm going to use, I don't know if I want the big uh, or the little, I'm going to try the little one. So, 
So we have lots to play with. Sorry, but not sorry. I wish you would tell me earlier. I really like the seahorse ones with the uh, straw bags. That was really nice. But yeah, she says they're 50 off. Plus, I got an extra 15% off with, um, what do you call it? The coupon they gave me. So that was nice. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do this first. I'm going to turn it sideways so that we have enough room. I need to take this off. We have that. We got all this. The problem with jelly playing is you never have enough room. <laughs> all right, and I need some paper. What I brought my paper. Well, we're gonna do this first. So I, somebody said you could use a sharpie on a gel plate. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and then we're gonna pull it. Have, have Jackie, have you ever used this um, to put on the jelly plate? Tim's collage paper. I'm wondering, oops, wonder how this would be on here. So I'm thinking if I put it on this here for a strip, see how that works. It's supposed to be like, I don't know, thin like tissue paper, I guess. So I don't know, we'll see. The pretties are. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Petites are great for making repeat, oh, repeat patterns, yeah. So now this has a shiny side and a textured side. So I'm thinking you have to do it on, not yet, but you have some. So I'm wondering, do I do it on the shiny side or the non-shiny side? You know? <laughs> we have that. Let me cut two pieces. I think it would be better to print on the textured side. So the side that's not shiny, not shiny, the textured, okay. The place that's not shiny. All right, we'll try it. We can do both. You do one on one side, one on the other, see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so when I brought out a Sharpie, what did I do with it? There it is. Hey, April. <laughs> I brought out some paint. I have this um, studio paint, the Claudine helmet, which I have a whole jar of. So I want to try to use that up. So, hey, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. All right. So we have our little jelly plates to go. All right. So we're going to do this first. I want to see if this works. And this way, I'll have Eileen stamps at well, as well. So if you don't know the story, these these were the stamps that Patty had found. And she um, wanted these. And Eileen had them. And Eileen was nice enough to send them to her. And I was like, everybody wants these stamps. So I'm thinking that we could just replicate them. We'll see. See how it goes. You stole them from Eileen. <laughs> and that's her story. <laughs> I must have something on my Sharpie because it's not very juicy. See how it goes. Hi, Vicky. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to put this on. We're going to put it on Tim's paper. Then maybe we'll put it on tissue paper. Sharpie is kind of dried out. It's good enough for a test just to see how it works. I have something on there. Like, why can't I get? Do I have another one? See how it's got that streaky line in the middle? I'm going to see. Um, I think I'm hoping this is a permanent marker. Let's try this. This is a Pigma MB Secor. Let's 
see if that works. Oh, this is really thin. Super thin, and it's now. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I think I have Jane's pen will work on here. Where is my license to quill pen? Whoops. I have no idea. I got it several years ago. What is that? Oh, where did you get the paper? What paper did you use? What, what paper are we talking about? This is beating up too, so I don't know how this will work. Well, we'll see. The thing is, I have a fan too, so if you hear this, I have my fan. It's so hot here today. It's really hot. All right, so that's drying pretty quick. Oh, an urum paper. Is it like a rice paper? What is it? I had to leave during Patty's part of her stream. All right, so I think I'm going to pull this with, what should we pull it with? Probably white. So this is a uh, deco art. This is a translucent white. So, hi, Lori. Stephanie, hi, welcome. Welcome, anybody. So, let's see. Did I ever use this one? Nope. Um. All right, so I don't want too much on there because I want to pull these letters off. So, let's see how that works. And my roller. So we're going to do it with Tim's tissue paper. Let's stack these up. I don't know that ink spread. It wasn't dry yet. That was a license to quill one. This sharp will pull. Oh, yeah, it did. Cool. So there it is. There's that one. So the Sharpie does pull up. So that's nice. Now, I don't know about this one, but I didn't really, really let it dry. So it just. Just white and black, but at least we know now. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this as my sample, and so now I'll have that anytime I want to um, trace anything. So this will still probably come up. So thank you, Patty, for that. Thank you, Eileen, for the stamps. <laughs> um, All right, so I'm going to put these to dry. Yeah, the Sharpie worked great. And now, um, and Jane's pen would have worked too. I should have just let it dry. I forgot about that. So these are my stamps from um, Rubber Moon. Let's see, I'll put this over here. I have so much stuff I can't tell. I can't believe. <laughs> Hold on. There goes my. I have to just make some more room. Get this out of the way. There we go. Well, I wind up getting, 
I wanted to get Patty's separate Rock to Miss the Print. Oh, yeah, I can show it, yeah. The one where I did with Jane's, I didn't let it dry, but yeah. So there's the Sharpie. So I'm thinking if I take gold paint and do the same thing, I will be able to um, do it in gold. So, but it came out pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, so I think I have a gold, a gold Sharpie somewhere, but I'm thinking even if I um, use gold paint and just paint it on, you know, I could do it like that too. But I wanted to get Patty's, the ones that she has, she has three uh, stamps that comes with the different scripts. And I was too late when I put in my order and KP couldn't add it to the order. So I'll just get it next time. Um, yeah, gold Sharpie would be awesome. So. So I wound up getting the dragon wings for my fairy book. And these are big. I didn't realize that they were that big. They're like as wide as the plate. We got that. Of course, I got my Little Mermaid scales. These are from uh, Natalie Kbosh. Got that. And then these are patties. I love this one with the little circles because it's so tiny. I love the little print on that one. We got that. And then this one's like a medium size. You can see that. And then there's this one. See that one there. But now I need to know which is the top and which is the bottom. You'll have to tell me, Patty, so I can write in the back, top and bottom. <laughs> All right. So we have these. I have a whole bunch more. I just didn't pull them out. I just pulled out my stencils. I think we'll just play with these today. So you ordered from Patty the art for too? Yeah, they're really nice. I really want the one with the three separate um, three separate prints, but I'll have to get that next time. All right, so I'm going to pull out my other jelly plate so I can work that on the sides. Let me get that. Or maybe we use the round one for now. I've got some crusty bits on that. So I think I'm going to use the sparks to put on here. And we'll have to see because now some of this writing will probably come up. <clears throat> Where can you order the stamps? Oh, can you put the link up? Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Catching live for once. Yay. <laughs> it's from Rubber Moon Stamps. They, um, our foamies used to be based in Canada, and now they are um, bought by uh, KP, who owns Rubber Moon uh, Stamps. So if somebody could put the link up there. Oh, and I need this little spatula. All right, so I think I'm going to stamp it on there. And I have my little one. And I love the sparks on the jelly plate. So I'll just pull that up. I think I could even roll it on here, probably. Let's see how that works. If I can't get it all the way open. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> so it's very faint, but you can see it. Thank Kathy and Kathy. And then I'm, I don't want to waste this, so I'm going to put this on here as well. So I'm going to put this. Get any more on that? All right, so we have to let that dry. I think I want to put it, should we put it with a blue background? I think I love gold and blue, navy blue together. So I think we're going to put it with some blue, jay green. So um, so this isn't a heat gun. This is like a hair dryer. This is um, one of these I got off of Amazon. You see it says Conair. It had like a, a brush type thing because you don't want to use a heat gun. You're having a bad time finding the 
rose gold ink. Still after the rose gold, so he can. I thought they said they found it at Blix. They don't see it anywhere? It's odd. <laughs> Patty is, has FOMO right now. <laughs> She's got to have that rose gold. And it's on the lowest settings because you can put it at 250 or 125. So I have it at the lowest, 125. Uh, Michael's you got it at Michael's Rose Gold, really? And it's by Liquitex? Seems odd. All right, so I think we're going to pull it with, let's try this. So I'm, this is um, Classic Teal. I wonder if we'll do that, or do I want Navy? I really want Navy. I want to get the Dick Blix. Do they still have the Dick Blix um, blue? I really want that. We'll use Jane's. See how that works. You Google it and sign it out and it doesn't come up. <laughs> I'm going to put some of this paint on the edges here. Just because I don't want to leave the paint on there. All right. I think I want the smaller brayer. <laughs> We're batty. I brought a composition book too, just so that I can um, maybe. I love Debbie Epps' composition book. Right. Oh, I didn't pull any paper. Where's my paper to pull on there? Darn it. Oh, is this some onion skin? I think it's crazy paper. I'm crazy paper. Oh, and I had my little thing. I found it. Now I don't know where I put it. <laughs> what do you call that thing? Oh, oh what happened? I'm missing the Sophia. <laughs> what happened to my little... Is it really by Liquitex, though? I'll fold up some of the lettering. <laughs> there you go. Can you see that? The Sparks is really shiny. That's a cool print. You see that one? I love that. And then I pulled up some of that black lettering. That's a good one. We have all of this. So let's see. Copper, bronze, silver, and bright gold. All right. And so then let me see what else I want to put on here. 
So that was this one, the little round one. Let's go with this. I think I'm going to put this all over like that. Let's go with, um, so it is a green. There's, I have one that's like a ginger color. Where is that? Oh, I can pull it out. This one is, oh, that's ginger magic. That was ginger magic. So let's go with gold then. This one is a copper. I go the India. Not like you would. So I'm going to do the same thing. Put that on there. Rub some of this off. I really would like to see if I could just rub this on here and get it on. So I did wind up going to the Queen's Inc. And she had a little garage sale. I bought a few things from there. Um, but her new place is really nice. Love the pull thing, Cassie. Yeah, the crusty bits. I, I, sometimes I have a hard time getting them off of this plate. So, we'll see what happens. Oops. And then, I'm just going to add some of this on the sides. And this one, I think, let's show what we put this with. Maybe we should pull this with, um, maybe I'll pull it with this teal. This is uh, the classic teal. Uh, I don't even know if this is any good. Hmm, kind of gooey. I don't know. We'll see. It is very old. <laughs> I wonder how it'll work. Let's try it. If I know if it doesn't work, we'll have to just throw it out. Hi, TV! <laughs> Playing around with my new art foamy stamps. Did you get yours? I know Dee Dee got some too. I think everybody will be getting theirs this week. They're arriving tomorrow. That's good. Are you going to be jelly playing tomorrow? <laughs> right, I'm going to pull this one on some brown jelly. Oh, here's my thing. Hold on. I just found it. No, mail. Oh, it comes too late in the afternoon. Oh, maybe Wednesday then. All right, there we go. <laughs> I 
Yes, Wednesday, I'll get. All right, let's see how that works. And I, with Jane's plate, oh, this one's coming, coming off. I usually pull the plate off from the um, paper. It just seems to work better with her plate. If you have her plate, it just works better. Oh, look at that yumminess. Oh, look at that. How do you not know? Or did you forget? Forget what? Oh, the Queen's Ink. Yeah, the classroom is going to be really nice. Oh, I love this one. This came out really good. Now it looks blue on your screen, but it's really more like a jade green. Oh, that's so blue on your screen. <laughs> that one's a nice one. It's really like green green. Why is it showing up blue? It's like this. Can you see this? This is showing up blue too, but it's really green. I wonder if I could put it next to something so you can see. See the difference there? It's like a green. Those look good. That looks yummy. <laughs> I like that. You bought two of hers and one from another. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Yeah, I want to get the other one too of Patty's. All right, so then we have this one to try. So let's do this one with where's my unicorn hair? Uh, this is Dragon's Eye. I must have not pulled them all out. Let's try this one, the Black Sparks. This one, um, this is a new one to me. I wonder where my unicorn hair one is. Now where it is? I should try to pull this. Maybe I'll try to pull it. Maybe I'll use another one. Where's the other bigger one? Let's try. Let's try this sharp run around here and then doing that. Let's do that. What I'm going to do is. Whoops. Oh, I stuck that right in there. Ugh. What are you using to press the paper with? Oh, I don't. Um, it's from Speedball. And I have trouble with um, arthritis in my hands, so it just is easier for me. Um, let's do this. Oh, thanks, Dee Dee. <laughs> Happy mail tomorrow. Um, who knows what's the name? I know Amalia. She's here, still here. A Baron. Thank you, Elon. <laughs> yeah. So it's by Speedball, and it's to so you can smoothly, you know, press like that. So, all right, I'm going to. Oh, well, let's do this. Let's see if I have. A little bit more on here. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, Jackie. Hi, Queen Pam. Where is she? I missed her. This needs probably a black, a little bit darker. Let's see. What's this one? I have pavement on here. Let's see what that is. Um, maybe that's a little bit better. I 
I just wanted so you could see it's really light there. Can't really see it that much. Hi, Shauna. I loved your little mermaid you did. I thought I'd give you some corner pieces of mermaid. They would have been cute on the other side. There we go. I love these, Patty. I really like them. They're so cool. All right. So there we go. We have that and that. So let's dry this. Oh, I should probably use this one that I have it on here. Hold on. Maybe I'll stamp it on this. Maybe we'll use that on something. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just going to see if I can pick up the edge. like them. I like printing it um, on the jelly plate as well as using the stencils, but all right, what do you use heat gun? <clears throat> I'm looking for the you found it on oh Carl who's that Carlene's website. Heat gun, where is it? <laughs> I think we'll put this up with some gold. I think this one will go to gold. <clears throat> but what is it? Is it like a rights paper? I'll have to go finish watching the end of your stream. Is it printed paper or is it just like a rights paper? about time <laughs> no I'm kidding <laughs> you missed I pulled your stamps Have to show you very sheer tie paper made with fibers oh is that the one that had like gold little fibers and stuff in it I think I saw you do a piece that Eileen said it looked like toast look Eileen I did your stamps I put the paper that Patty gave me underneath the gel plate and then went over it with the Sharpie. Uh, you're starving, she says. I ate dinner. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this goal. I think I'm going to do it with um, some Arteza. Should I do it with Arteza? Yeah, I'm going to do it with the Arteza goal. Yeah, so I figure if I have a gold Sharpie or if I got gold paint, I can just go over it and then paint it. So, oh, what are we going to pull this on? Should we pull it on? I really like this. Let's pull it on this green paper. This is a paper that um, Robin uses that she shared with everyone. It's green paper from Home Depot. It comes on a roll from Home Depot. I'm going to put it on that. This one still might be a little bit wet, but we'll see. Whoops, that's a little too much. Right, I'm going to go with the bigger roller for this. Too much paint. Darn it. Yes, that was still a little wet. Oops. 
going to pull this one too as well so we can get the pull out of that. You might even do both at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if that'll reach. No, that's, I don't like a part of it anyway. Is it? Oh. Yeah, I thought those corner pieces, I thought I gave you corner pieces. They would have looked cute on the other side. One tissue paper. Oh, that one didn't come out too good. I have to take something else on there. And this one pulled up good. There, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. It still pulled up some of that um, paint from before, that blue and pink. It's super shiny, too. And this, I thought the black would have more like a, a darker, but it's kind of like a, a black silver tint to it. It's still nice, so. But I like that one. That would be a nice Egyptian one, wouldn't it? A nice Egyptian page. All right. All right, so those are patties. I'm gonna, I want to do these dragonflies. I wish I could find my unicorn here. What are you doing here? This is a dragon's eye. Um, uh, unicorn hair, where is it? Oh, well, maybe we'll just use this one, the blue. Oh, I have to, he, Jimmy went to go pick up Gabby, so I have to put, she's over here crying, so I got to put her in the gate. So just fast forward on YouTube, I'll be right back, two minutes. Get me the room now. dog she is so smart he put the gate but she found a little hole that she could slide through and then was crying because she couldn't get back in <laughs> all right have some black pat paper that Patty has. Uh, <laughs> she's crafty as right. She is crafty. Hold on, just because you're so stenciled. I love that. And have some of these texture plates. Paper. All right. Did you use the round plate yet, Patty? I'm going to try that one, too. I'll try that. Others. Hold on, just go looking. Go looking for mine. All right. I have a couple of Jones that I'm going to do and a couple of Jackies. I haven't used these yet. So there's this one. I don't think I put the name on it. What's the name of this one, Jackie? We're still here. We have that one. And then I have some, I love this one of Jones, flower one. I think I'm the only one who loves flowers. <laughs> well, I think all you guys love all this tribal stuff. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do next? I want to do the uh, wings. 
Now maybe I'll do the wings on. I really want to find my unicorn jar. Can you tell me where that is? Where is it? Right, let me look one other place to see if I have that unicorn jar somewhere. Hold on. Oh, I can't get to it. No, I can't get to it. We'll have to do without it. I just can't get to it today. All right, we'll do this. We'll do the wings in the blue. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, that has to be mixed up. Hi, Judy. Kimberly. <laughs> Stripes. Oh, that one's called Stripes. This almost looks, Eileen, like that uh, one that you wanted from Debbie Epps. Kind of looks like um, the stamp that she had. I know it's so hot. I have the air on. I have the fan blowing on me. It's really hot. Um, maybe I'll do it in this pink. This one is called, oh, this one, Butterfly Spells. I'll do it in the pink. All right, I'm just going to put some on here. <coughs> I don't know if that's enough. Probably not. Oh, my gosh. Good thing you can't see around my desk. <laughs> Woo. I know Eileen doesn't like this pissy pink, but I have to have the wings in pink. I would do pink and gold. Maybe I put a little bit of gold on here. Ah, maybe not. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. What I want to do is I want to take the wings. Uh, and maybe I'll just do a whole page of wings. I bring my other paper down. Let's see. I thought I tore some. Uh, we'll do it on the black. I thought I tore some of this out. Oops. Gosh, I have no room. Well, that didn't pick up much. I might not have enough paint on there. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Oh, that's pretty. sparkly right there. All right, and then we're going to what color we're we going to pull this with? I'll pull it with um, some blue or some green, pink, and how about green? Let's try the green. Well, um, I tried it, Jane, she doesn't have her paints are being discontinued from, I think, from Spellbinders. So I tried to find the closest one that I could. So this one is Ceramco uh, Tropical Bay Blue. So you can see that's pretty, pretty close to it. This one might be just a tad darker. So, all right, so I'm going to dry this. Oh, he's done. Hey, Gail. 
have to get used to this one. <laughs> Let's see, gun. Let's see if I can get some of this out of the way. <laughs> there we Rose gold ink. You still didn't find it? <laughs> Poor Patty. Probably mixed, yeah, with copper and silver, yeah, probably. All right. So we're going to pull it with, I thought I brought some dictionary paper down. Here's my dictionary paper. I'm gonna put this. I want to use that one next. Whoops. Uh oh. Oh my dictionary paper. Yeah, here we go. There it is. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna pull that with this green. Let's see how that. Works. Thanks, April. Yeah, I like that color. I like it with the green and the blue and the pink. I always think I'm going to get more done than I will than I do. <laughs> I'm going to pull out like probably pull that 50 stencils. <laughs> Paper. Hi, Devon. All right. Now, this one I'm going to pull this way. It's going to be super light, so you'll be able to see the writing through it. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know why with Jane's plate, definitely it's better to pull the plate away from the paper than to throw the paper away from the plate. Ooh, that's nice and sparkly. Oh, this one's got to come off. picked up a lot of the uh, crusty bits. Can you see the dragon wings in there? Isn't that cool? That's nice and light. So you can see the sparks in there, that pink and the gold. You can see that. The pink and the gold. And those are the crusty bits. That's that chevron that it picked up from there. This one's pretty too. Like I could see just cutting out that dragonfly wing there. See it? That's cool. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Thank you. That one's a cool one. All right. So let's try. I want to do. I'll do Jackie stencil. I have her other one, which I really like. But let's see if I can find that one. I brought it out. I don't know what it is. I have it in the bigger and the smaller like one of my favorite ones. I want to have this one. Hold on, just looking 
I pulled them out, but I don't see. I don't see it here. Might be in the other other pile. I pulled out. I can't find that, but we'll do this one. We'll do this one and Jackie's, and then we'll do some of the wooden blocks. All right. So, what color? What color should we do? I'm trying to think. Um. I want to use up my paints too from let's see, let's do this. I'm gonna do this green. Let's do I'm gonna do some of Jane's. Oh that Paula dictionary paper, yeah. Oh, this one's not open. I mean this one's uh, hold on, let me get one that's not open. I mean that's open. I'm gonna put oh this one's not open either. I have another one. Hold on. I'll try this. I'll do this one. This is her charismatic one. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm trying to think what other color. I did the pink and maybe the blue will give us like a purple color. This one maybe I'll do. Let's see how it goes. I was hoping it would give me like a purple blue color. Maybe not though. I want to see if I can get up those crusty bits from the edge. down Jones and Jackie's. There we go. Luminaire Rose Gold. Is that what it's called? The Flix? Hi, Joey. Where's my little? Oh, I'm sorry about the dog. I can't know anything. If you can hear it, I don't think you can hear her crying. She's a little weeper. I want to make sure I get inside those holes. Warehouse is almost as big as Eileen home <laughs> patties. <laughs> oh my gosh, we still haven't brought in the um, that cabinet. I got one of those cabinet like um, Glenda and Patty has. Oh my gosh, that thing is so big. Jimmy thinks he can get the drawers out though. So it's a big cabinet holds the big blueprints. This thing is so huge. <laughs> oh, that one's nice. This is one of Jones. What's the name of this one, Joan? Do you know? Yes, it's a Baron. Yes, it is, Linda. That's the rounding. Let's see. It helps my hands a lot. And now, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It's got some of the sparkle from the when we used the sparks before. I think you can see a little bit of the glitter there. That was a cool one. And then there's this one. Doesn't that look like the stamp that Debbie was trying to use, um, Eileen? There you go. Offhand, you can't remember. <laughs> I know. Poor Joan wants she's designed so many. I'm sure you have more that's coming. Well, I like those. 
the flow on there. All right, and so I think we should pull this. What should we pull it with? Mm, I have the green. Where is it? The cladding helmet green. I could pull it with pink. This one. No, that's not it. Oh, this one right here. I think I'm going to pull it with this. Let's see how this works. Uh, does it have a color? Landscape green. Let's see how it is. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. See how these paints are really thick? I probably could add water maybe to them. It's super thick. I wonder if I should add a little water. But I mean, I got these at Ranger Sale when it was like, I can't even remember. Probably like over 10 years old, I bet. have to invent your own. <laughs> Poor Patty. <laughs> I probably need a little bit more paint. We'll turn this one over and see what this one looks like. And then we have to use, we haven't used the little ones yet. I want to use the butterfly one. Oh, that'll come out, comes out like that. That'll be cool. And you can see the writing still on the back, which is nice. Looking for the rose gold too, Chana. So that one's Jackie's there. And then this one is Jones. This one's a cool one, isn't it? I like this why I just cut this out like a circle. If I just cut these out, it would be cool. So there we go. So that's those two. I like printing on the dictionary paper, especially because it's thin. I did get my journals. Kathy Burke's still here. I did get my journal from Johnny, but Oh my gosh, the writing is so nice that um, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to uh, print on that. All right, I'm going to use my, which one is this one? Green Goblin. I love this one. I should have pulled out, I've got to pull out the other ones. And we're going to do um, some of the mermaid ones. I used this Green gob Goblin last time. It's got some gold in it really pretty just print on it oh, I'm afraid Kathy <laughs> 
it's nice that these sparks are translucent. Um, so I'm going to actually put the I mean, mermaid. Let's do the octopus. Let's do the seashell. Let's do some of these. I'm going to do that. Oops. I hope you can see. I can barely see it myself. And then what else do I have here? Maybe we could do some of this. There we are. Am I going to take the pages out or leave them in? I don't know. I like the book. I like the size of the book because it's like a composition um, size. Oops. Oh, that oh, we didn't do the little turtle. Can we put him anywhere? Um, maybe I'll stick him down here. Let's see, maybe I can get his head in here. All right, so let this dry. He gone. <laughs> Rip them out. <laughs> I'll show it to you next time. I still have my watercolors. I'm thinking about streaming maybe. Who streams tomorrow night? Anybody? Because I still have to swatch my Aloha watercolors. I got the same ones like. I have a couple different ones than Patty got. Um, and, then, uh, and then maybe I'll bring that book out. <laughs> All right. Now what color should we put this on top of? I'm thinking about the neon pink. What do you think? Or I have the purple. I have the neon purple. No one tomorrow night. Okay. So maybe I'll come on tomorrow night. It's just going to be swatching. I'm just going to swatch some of my paints and I don't know. We'll see what else. Although I do have this still set up probably. <laughs> maybe we'll do this. All right. I'm going to try this neon purple. I have to get this off too. I think that one will go good with it. Yeah, I was lucky enough this weekend I got some um, of the Brazilian. If you've seen those on Instagram, they're from Italy. So I'm dying to see how, what those are going to be like. They're all color shift too, of course. Oh, I missed one, did I? Yeah, I missed one. Should I do this on? I'm gonna do go with the. I'm gonna go with the brown deli again. Am I? Let me pull it out. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, I went on there crooked. <laughs> I don't have a bird. No, that's my dog whining. <laughs> Sorry about that. What time is it now? I'm gonna be getting off anyway. Anything you guys want to see before I get off? Okay, Kathy. Yep, pizza yummy. <laughs> oh, we didn't get to do the little, the little gel plates. Maybe I'll keep this set up, and maybe tomorrow night we'll still do some more jelly printing. We'll see. All right, let's see what this looks like. I can see the octopus has a shell that looks really good. So let's see. Oh, that's cool.
So this one's cool. Cool looking. It's got like a purple tint to it. Can you see it? So there's the octopus. There's the mermaid. I didn't press hard enough for her. You can see her. You can't really see her face. The shell. It came out pretty nice. The mermaid's tail. Uh, scales. See those. Oh, sorry about her barking. I mean screaming. And I don't see the turtle too much. I guess I didn't do the turtle too well. So. But that's like shifting. Like color shifting, isn't it? Purple and green. So. Sorry for her barking or screaming. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go. I'll come back on tomorrow night. Now she's getting really loud. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Oh, she's pain. <laughs> the other one, you don't hear the other one. It's nice and quiet, right? She is the crazy one. We call her Zany Zoe. <laughs> she's crazy. All right, so I'll say good night, and then I will see you tomorrow, Monday night. I'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm going to keep this set up because I have so much more still to do. So, <laughs> so we'll do it. Right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, she's getting really loud. <laughs> Sorry. She is a little demanding girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. <laughs> She's terrible. 